Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be working on Project Life Week 50 for 2020. For this particular spread I am using the Allie Edwards Story Kit hope as my theme for the week. Uh, so I actually took the digital kit and printed this specific card that says this story uh, four times because one of my favorite ways to do Project Life spreads, especially to make them go a little bit quicker for me, is to repeat a journaling card uh, throughout the middle portion of the spread. So I have four of them that provides all of my documenting, all of my uh, journaling, I should say, for the week. The rest of it is pictures. And then I've also got um, some tiny phrase stickers I pulled out, a label sheet that's from uh, the, um, what's it called? Storytelling Basics Kit from Allie. And then I've also got some embellishments. So I printed the, um, chipboard pieces on some canvas paper to use as embellishments. I also pulled out some wooden stars and some cardstock sticker hearts to work with that. Um, so it's really just getting this page assembled or uh, embellished and adding my week number and dates to the title card. So what I'm going to do is put you guys on fast forward while I get all of that done. And then once we've got this spread put together, we'll slow back down and close out with some last remarks. So let's go ahead and jump in. To get started on today's spread, the first thing I'm going to do is pull over my title card in order to get the sentiment stamped that I want stamped on this card. So basically just my week title, my week number, and my date stamping. I usually like to start with stamping when I can just to give it adequate time to dry before I put any of these pieces back into the pockets for the pocket pages. So I am using my Allie Edwards Weekly Stamp, which is back in stock. So if you are looking for a stamp set that has the word week on it and then has numbers to, to add your week number onto your cards, um, that, that stamp set, which has been out of stock for a long time, is finally back in stock. So definitely go check it out if you want. Um, so I'm using the weekly stamp set and my scrapbook.com premium dye ink, uh, which is my favorite black ink. I just love it because it dries super quick and is really black and I just love it. Uh, and then I also pulled out some of those label stickers from the storytelling basics kit from Allie Edwards. She has some of my favorite label stickers in her shop and these ones I what, number one, they are just, the shapes of them are awesome for things like this. But what I especially love about these ones is that they are like a paper. They're they're almost like a cardstock paper sticker versus in the past, they've been a more, like a little bit of a slicker surface. And these are not slick at all. I just adore them. I adore them. So I definitely made sure to grab a couple sheets of those when the um, supplies went uh, for sale, um, but they are, they are still in the shop now as well. So with the stamping done, I did also grab my date stamp and put in the dates using the roller date stamp on the, the story cards. So those each have their date on there. And I used my uh, fine point pen is that what that's called? I think uh, to check off the boxes on there as well. I always forget to do that. So I made sure to do it this time. So now it's just a matter of figuring out which embellish, which embellishments to put where. So what I like to do with my project life spreads is I really like to have some kind of formula that I use for putting specific embellishments on every photo the same way. So kind of having a very similar treatment for each of those photos. So for this spread, what I decided to do was to print off the uh, chipboard set. So I'm working with the digital kit here. The physical kit has not arrived yet. Um, and I'll use that for some other stories later on. But because I'm working with the digital kit, one of my pieces of advice when you're doing a hybrid spread like this is to find a way to print off some of your embellishments on a different surface. So these ones are printed on canvas paper, but I also really love to use fabric paper. I love to use vellum. Um, 
I love to use transparency. So different textures will help to make your spread not feel as flat when you're working with hybrid products or you're, or you're trying to make hybrid products out of your digital kits. So for these ones, I printed the chipboard pieces on canvas paper and then cut them out. And I just decided to put one on each of those four by six sections. So you'll notice there's a couple of sections here where I have a I have two three by four cards in the four by six spot. So of the two three by four cards, I also added one of those canvas paper chipboard stickers to each of them. Then I also went in my stash and found those cardstock sticker hearts. I want to say that those were from like September, maybe like the September stories by the month kit, or they might've come from a story kit. I can't quite remember, but I had a bunch of them left over and the colors went really well with the colors of this kit. So I pulled those out and chose one of the heart stickers for each of those cards as well. And then the last thing I did was to grab out some tiny little, um, wood veneer stars. Those I believe I got as an add-on at some point, or they were one of my mystery embellishments, but I do love them because they add just a little bit of texture and dimension, but they're not too big. Uh, so they're, they're just really cute. So I added a star, one of the chipboard circles, and one of the hearts to each of those four by six spots. For the title card, I also added two of those little wood veneer hearts to either end of my week 50 title. That way it just ties the wood stars in with the title card as well. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get everything stuck down for the canvas paper. I'm just using my roller adhesive to add that on top of the photo. Um, and then I am using liquid adhesive to add the stars because I want to make sure that they stick down really well. For the pictures this week, I, I went through my my week of photos and tried to pick ones that I did not tell stories for in project or in my December daily. So I've got like this one right here, which is a mug, one of my Christmas mugs that uh, Jonah broke when he chucked it across the floor. Um, and that was just a sad day. So I've got a picture of that broken in the sink. I've got a picture of um, an advent that I received from a fellow crafter, which right now is covered up. You can't really see it's underneath that white cardstock there, but it's, um, it's there at the beginning. I've got another picture of an advent that I created for my sister. I made her um, a themed advent calendar that's things that go in a mug. So I got her and her fiance both Christmas mugs. And then all of those paper bags are filled with supplies in order to make drinks or mug cakes or hot chocolates, like all the different things throughout the 12 days leading up to Christmas. I've also got a picture of a spread there that I made on a crafty Zoom call with a couple of friends. Uh, and then the rest of the pictures are just kind of random ones of the kids and us, one of Jonah and Aaron in the kitchen cooking breakfast, one of Jonah and I taking a nap together after a couple of really rough days. And then I've got a picture of Izzy playing underneath our bed. That's like the kid's favorite thing to do. And then one of Jonah and I by the Christmas tree. So lots of little stories to tell for Project Life this week. All right, friends, that finishes up this week of Project Life, and I think it came together really nicely. I love these little clusters and giving that same treatment to all of those uh, four by six spots on this page. I think that that just helps to tie everything together and, um, you know, tells some of these smaller stories from throughout the week. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and have found some inspiration in documenting the stories of your life. If you did enjoy the video, I would love a thumbs up down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the content I have coming your way in the future. I um, will be back again uh, this week with some additional spreads and some more projects to share with you guys. And, um, you know, I hope you guys will join me then until then have a great rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.